For this particular video, we're gonna be playing Iron Maiden. And one of the things that I'm gonna show you is kind of what my approach is in a herb situation. Now, if you're familiar with tournaments, you probably know what a herb is. If you don't know, all this means is you're trying to score as many points as possible. For this particular video though, I'm not gonna show the entire gameplay. Instead, I'm gonna show the things that I like to do leading up to my mid game. So my ultimate goal is to always get the cyborg multi-ball. And if you don't know what that is, perfectly fine. A lot of this video is gonna assume that you generally do know the rules to begin with, but even if you don't follow along, it'll start making sense along the way. Now, one thing that's important to note is the game conditions at the very beginning. This game is set to competition install, which means Fear of the Dark will be your very first mode lit for your Eddie battle. Now you also have to spell Eddie obviously, but the letters E, D are spotted at the very beginning. And in order to spell Eddie, you're just hitting white inserts all, all the way around the playfield. And also the drop target award, Light Orb, is already lit. So if you notice at the top, you've got your lock, you've got your orb, and you got your mystery. That's right there next. It's the inserts that are right next to the drop targets up the middle. So the drop target award is already lit. And secret skill shots are turned off here. So we're not going to be worrying about that. Other than that, let's get to the gameplay. I played this a couple of months ago. I don't remember the exact thing I did, but right here, what you see, because I had a ball save on, I did go for my 2X play field off the get-go, which just means you can just plunge it up the loop back to the upper flipper and try to hit that end target that's lit, where the super jackpot usually is. That'll automatically light your, uh, your 2X play field. Now, I ended up getting my targets down at the top. That gives me my locks that are lit immediately. Sometimes I do that on purpose, sometimes I don't. It's just getting a feel of the machine. A lot of the times though, I want to prime up locks. I wanna prime up my trooper locks and I wanna prime up my mummy as well, which you can find, I just did it right there by hitting the sarcophagus lock after hitting the uh, captive ball a few times to spell mummy. So now, all I'm trying to do really is just get progress on this first ball. I start Fear of the Dark. And again, a lot of times I do prefer playing this as a single ball mode. However, because I'm trying to get the cyborg, that's my entire goal. I'm willing to bring in Trooper to this mode. If you're playing Fear of the Dark, as you could tell, some of the tactics you can use is trying to use Trooper locks to stay under control. You can definitely, um, definitely keep things going the right direction by doing that because you got to hit a certain shot like a ramp shot or a loop and then you have to hit a spinner shot to progress to the next phase so now we start trooper multi-ball the easiest way to put this is all major shots are lit and you're just going to keep hitting all your shots and eventually you can keep just building 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 the uh the values of it you can cash in a super jackpot at that end target once you uh once you get to that point now whenever you're playing trooper multi-ball though for me you can use this as a utility multi-ball and what i mean by that is you can use it to start progressing your power jackpots your power features to get the cyborg and at the same time of course you could play your mode out if you so choose i just happen to be getting background points due to the mode even though i'm not entirely focused on it but it is helpful though from time to time my main focus right here is just jamming out on shots. It's trying to get some progress built on my cyborg, which if you look at the far left on the LCD screen, you'll see the power features lit, all five of them from top to bottom. And you'll notice that if it turns a certain color, that means that you've already completed the initial amount of shots that you need it for that. And then you got to complete whatever amount of shots it puts afterwards. And then when you do that, you will light a power jackpot at the far left-hand side, which on a pro, it's a stand-up target. On a premium, an LE, it is a Newton ball. So that's what we're seeing. That's what we're seeing right there. Spinners I've already completed. That's why you see the check mark right there. Ramps I haven't started yet. Pops and targets, I do have them going. So if I can finish 20 pops and eight targets at this point that will increase that power jackpot located on the lower right-hand side of the LCD. That'll increase it 2X, 3X. Plus you'll generally keep building up points 
along the way, just doing various things throughout the game. But I want to keep this simple. I don't want to overwhelm you too much with all these different details. The important part is, is just to kind of know the pathway that you're going and the direction that you're trying to go with the game. And if you're getting, if you're working towards Cyborg Multiball, using Trooper Multiball and using Mummy Multiball are a great way. They're both great ways to make some progress along the way, especially on ball one. If you can do that early on, that's great. All right, so we're still playing here. As you can tell, the colors on the various jackpot shots are different. That just represents the value. They go up by an X each time. It goes up like 2X, 3X, 4X, I think all the way up to 5X. And of course, you can also hit a jackpot, which will increase it across the board as well. So we got a tomb treasure right there, which is nice because it adds a little bit more value to the game. You get 15 million points. And of course we got a tomb treasure because either I got a jackpot, it might be it, or it might even been from a soul shard. I think it was from, it could have been both because I have another one lit right there on the far right orbit. Now, as you can tell right now, I need to check on all my progress. And because I'm still on ball one, I am going to go for the second tomb award. The reason for this is that is my super slings, which means the value on both slings, your left and right sling, I think start out somewhere around 125,000 points every time it's hit, and then they continuously go up, but it only lasts for your ball. But I think it's huge if you're wanting to try to get background points because it'll keep going up. If you know you're going to play certain modes or certain battles that happen to be a multi-ball like Rhyme, the Ancient Mariner, Ace is High, and Mummy multi-ball as well, you can get a lot of background points. So that is exactly why I'm going for the right orbit. I'm kind of ignoring everything else right now because I know I got Ace is High as my, ne as my next battle which is indicated on the lower part of the play field. You'll have your five white inserts. So there's super slings right there. So it starts at 250K, not 125. So that's even better. I don't remember exactly what that was, but 250 is nice. So now I have an option. Another tomb award is lit on the right-hand side. So I have a decision to make here, whether or not I want to go for that. I do go for that, which does boost up power jackpot to 15 million now if you're playing on default it won't do that i think it starts can i play with madness which you will not see or you shouldn't see in a competitive environment but as you can tell my power jackpot is starting to creep up a little bit it's at 2x at around 19 million points so we're creeping closer to 40 million so start at aces high right here with the aces high it's just a two ball multi-ball mode all major shots are lit and you're just jamming out on shots. That's all you're trying to do. You hit, I believe it's like three or four shots and you'll eventually progress to the next phase of this mode, which we should see shortly. But again, this is where you can make a decision for yourself. Are you trying to finish this mode, get your soul shard, or are you all in for cyborg? Me personally, I'm still all in for Cyborg, but I will take points to where I can get it. And at the same time, if I get in a little loop like that, I am going to go ahead and take my loop jackpots or start building that up, which you see that value right above the power jackpot on the far right hand side of the LCD. So we're out of this right now, but we're still trying to build up our power jackpot. And when we're looking at the power jackpot, we're just, again, completing power features. We are going to keep increasing the value as much as we can with that to where we can eventually collect it at that orb target. So right now I got it at 4X. So this is great. I'm trying to avoid it. I think I accidentally hit it though, right here, unfortunately, but it was worth a hundred million. However, I was trying to go up the ramp to roll through a lit end lane, which would have made my play field 2X. As you can see, 2X is lit. So I'm gonna pause it right here real quick so I can go through all this. As you can tell on the play field right now, I do have two lit, 2X lit. The way that I light that is by hitting the four orange 
targets around, or sorry, the four orange inserts that have the little X's that are around. You can find one right by the pop bumpers. You can find another one that is at a kind of a side angle target that you can get off the plunge, or that's even where the extra ball can be collected. It's just right in front of one of the pop bumpers towards the middle of the play field. And then the other two are back at the top, right above your drop targets, kind of where the mini loop is at, just right in there. You'll see those other two. You hit those, and whenever you hit those, all four of them, you will light your 2X or you'll have your 2X play field qualified. You do it again, you'll have a 3X play field qualified. And then you'll see the end lanes lit. Just an orange insert that'll move back and forth depending on which flipper you hit. If you roll over a lit end lane, that will immediately start your play field X, whether it's 2X or 3X. Now, ideally what I wanted to do is have my 2X running before I hit my power jackpot because that would have made it worth somewhere around 204 million points. So as you could tell, that starts getting up there a little, a little way. So it's definitely a viable strategy for you to not even worry about modes in general if you just want to go for power jackpots or just build up towards cyborg so all that can definitely be done now in terms of where i'm at right here i do have options and i do have to make decisions right here and a few of the decisions that i have to make is whether or not one i want to take the extra ball which we just talked about where that's located another option i have is to take one more loop as you can see i'm 11 out of 12 loops and my loop jackpot is worth 7.7 .7 million points so it's closing in on eight if i 2x obviously that's going to be worth over 14 million 15 million points per loop and it will seriously build if i keep hitting it over and over again in an ideal world if the game allows you to loop consistently that's probably the direction i would suggest going which would be like right now it'd be hitting the right ramp over a lit in lane and then go through the spinner up top and start looping away. That's what I would recommend to do under most circumstances if the loop is something you can handle. Now in some copies of Iron Maiden, that's not necessarily the case. It may come around way too fast. You may just be able to hit one, maybe none at all. It just it entirely depends. Now that's, uh, that's one way you could go with it. The other way though, the other option that I have here is I have all my power features completed except for ramps. If I hit one more, then I'll have it lit for the final phase to where I think I gotta hit eight or 10 more, I forget how many it is. And then I'll be able to collect at that orb or the stand-up target on the far left. And that's what I will need to do to qualify Cyborg Multiball, which is where I wanted to get to anyways. But if you find yourself in this situation, oftentimes you will have these decisions to make. And if you're able to get to this point, during ball one, you're in pretty good shape because you can decide where you wanna go with it. Now, I will say you have to commit though. If you decide to do your loops and you go for loop jackpot, you have to commit to it and here's why. Once you light your loop jackpot, if you drain, it's gone, all right? So you gotta make sure you can't, you don't wanna start doing it and then all of a sudden you have it lit and you're like, okay, I'm not gonna do that anymore because then you just wasted all that progress and then if you drain, yeah, it's a lot of points gone. So be sure to make a decision, stick with it and go from there. But other than that, let's go ahead and resume the game. So ultimately right there, I think I did go for the right ramp. And when I missed, I said, okay, we'll go left ramp instead. And yeah, there's eight ramps. So I start the power ramps. And from here, I'm just gonna keep ski jumping over as much as I can and try just to chop wood at this. And there's a lot of good that comes out of this. As you can tell, I'm making progress on my Eddie letters as well, which I did complete that. And I started my 2X. So now I'm in Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner. Keep in mind, I still had my super slings going. Now I have 2X. So every single time I hit a sling, it's gonna be worth over 500,000 points. Plus I'm in a mode or an Eddie battle also. And I'm gonna keep jamming away on there. Now, if you're in Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner, the easiest way to describe this is you're controlling a boat, all your shots are to the left, you're gonna hit shots on the left and make it go right up the middle, and then the shots will go to the right, you're gonna steer your boat back to the middle, and yeah, that's literally the whole mode right there to give you an idea. And I think too, we did have a switch that was kind of acting weird at the very top, so you might see me collect a port shot by accident, maybe some other shots as well by accident, but the principles still apply. 
So there's my add a ball right there. You can do that if you light your mystery orb whenever you're in a multi ball for an eddy battle. So that's key. More balls out there. I still got my super slings going. And right now I'm kind of flailing around. Ideally, what I should be doing is focusing more on just getting my ramps. But now my loop jackpots are running, so you can tell how much those are in the background. It's worth 8 million right now if I could hit that loop. And I think I might go for it one more time. And there we go. Because I did it three, there's 24 million. A lot of points there. 48 million just for loop jackpots. So again, very viable strategy. Very viable strategy. The important thing that I wanted you to understand during this video and kind of get out of this video is the direction that you can go and the decisions that you can make in order to get to that mid game. Or for some of you, it may be the end game. I know for me, depending on the setup, Cyborg Multiball could very well be the end game. So whenever you make a decision to go that direction and you know where you wanna to get to, you have to make sure your path leads you that way and you stick to it. You gotta be very careful from pivoting off of the path, especially if you've already made significant progress towards something deeper in the game. Because obviously if you change gears all of a sudden, you go elsewhere, you may end up not getting to where you originally planned. So be very careful of that. Just kind of take what the game's given you. If you happen to have the loop jackpots, take the loop jackpots if it's possible. If you find yourself in a situation where your playfield X is ready to go and you have a major shot that's lit and ready to go, take that as well. And don't sleep on that second tomb award.